Hello, my name is Joe Sass, and today I would like to give you a short video tour of Magellan's Proflex 500. So, the first thing I'd like you to notice is the molded aluminum housing. This is a rugged box. This is designed for very, very demanding applications, mines, machine control, marine applications, land surveying, um, etc. Okay, it's got an OLED display here with a power button. Uh, it's got a record button, so it's got internal memory, and with the push of a button, I can stop or start a recording session to the internal memory of raw data. And I've also got a, a scroll button that allows me to scroll through five or six different screens that give me varying bits of information about the status of the receiver. Okay, right here, I've got a Bluetooth connection. This is Bluetooth 2.0 with a serial port profile. Next to it, I've got a built-in quad band GSM modem. The quad band means that it is good all over the world. GSM service is a worldwide standard and this covers the entire planet. Um, I've also got a USB connector right here. It may not look like USB but this is a full USB 2.0 host and device USB connector. I'll show you the cables in just a little bit. Another very nice thing about the ProFlex is the battery. It's got an onboard battery, so even if I'm hooked up to external power, this then acts as a UPS, a backup power supply. The battery will last for six, up to six and a half hours in good conditions. This battery is just a regular camcorder style battery. You can buy this at most electronic stores. Inside you can see the slot for the, for the SIM chip. In there I've got a T-Mobile SIM chip. And what you probably can't see is way down there, there's a little button. If I slide it to the left, then it means that if I lose power, I have to manually restart it. But if I slide it to the right, it means that if I lose power, when power is restored, it will go back to do doing what it was doing when it lost power. Okay, it's got these mounts. These mounts on the side of the box, they're suitable for any type of machine control mount. There's also, also these standard mounting holes underneath. These are called visa holes. They're offset from each other by 100 millimeters. And then you can also see it's got a tripod. Um, clamp so that you can hang it from a tripod if you're using it as a base station. On the back we have got all kinds of ports. So port A and B and F, these are RS-232 ports. RS, uh, port A can actually be RS-422. We have a Ethernet port. This is a fully internet enabled GNSS receiver and we have an Ethernet port here. We have an, um, a power port here, so you can supply external power. While it's on external power, it charges the internal battery. So the internal battery as a UPS is always fully charged. Right here is the coaxial connector for your geodetic antenna. And right here is your coaxial connector for your UH, UHF radio. And with the UHF radio, we now have two options. We support the Pack Crest. We also have the, the Magellan U-Link radio with outstanding performance. One other connector back here is the Earth Ground, so that you can um, ground this to the equipment. If you're on a big piece of equipment, you can ground it to the equipment. You can also ground it to an Earth Ground if you're in a permanent base station installation uh, situation. Another important thing about these ports, they are all optically isolated from each other. Meaning, and, and not only from each other, but from the internal circuitry of this box, of this receiver. So if some event, some lightning strike, some surge were to happen on one of the ports, it's not going to impact the rest of your GNSS receiver and the operations. So, I think that's the outside of the box. What's on the inside? Okay, we have blade. Blade technology is the foundation of Magellan satellite signal tracking technology. As a company, that's what we exceed in. And this box represents the last 20 years of technology, innovation, patents rolled into one box. And, and, and all of that technology together is what we call Blade. This is a 75 channel receiver. Now the last time I counted, there's only 57 or 58 signals in space. Um, so we still have room to grow with existing satellite systems, um, but you know what, it will be upgradable. You can upgrade it in the future, hardware upgrade to L5 and, and Galileo. 20 hertz raw data and position recording is capable. This can act as a base or a rover. Um, as a rover, it actually comes in a backpack, and I'll show you that in a little bit. 85 megabytes of internal memory 
Uh, it's actually 128 megabytes of total memory, but we consume uh, probably 40 some megabytes in firmware. And you know what, if you need more memory, you can ex expand that by using a USB key. As I told you, this is a USB cable and I can, ex uh, a cable outlet, I can extend a cable to it and put a USB key and then I have virtually unlimited data recording capability. You can't see it, inside the box is an, an embedded web server. This GNSS receiver can be viewed, it can be configured, it can be managed um, from the internet. And uh, that's probably one of the more powerful features if you're going to use this as a remote base station. Within that web server, I've got an NTRIP, an embedded NTRIP server, so that I can virtually hook it into any um, RTN, real-time network, and go right to work. Uh, we support all the industry standards, RTCM standards, um, and the NMEA standards. Uh, <laughs> For those of you who understand an internet protocol, it, it can be manually configured or it can be automatically configured with an IP address, DHCP they call that. Um, I also have the ability to do event markers and PPS, pulse per second. Uh, typically, let's say in an in a orthophotogrammetry setting, the camera is triggered by a pulse per second from a box like this, and then that event is recorded back into the internal memory through the event marker and this uh, GNSS receiver supports both of those options. So this is the box in summary. I thought maybe I would show you a few of the accessories. The Mobile Mapper CX running fast survey. This is our controller that we use um, as a land survey and, and most GIS applications. This is totally uh, suitable. The cables. We have this cable. I was telling you that you can hook a USB stick up into this and this will expand your memory virtually uh, as much as you want. We have this cable that can be hooked up to the charger plug and directly into the receiver for external AC power. This is the Ethernet plug. This has an RJ45 connector at the end and plugs into the Ethernet jack on the receiver itself. We have another USB cable. If you've ever um, plugged a USB stick into your computer and you see that your computer gets another hard drive like a G drive or a D drive that's what happens when you plug this cable into the receiver and into your computer you now see the receiver as an external hard drive and you can just drag and drop data it's a very convenient um, technique it comes with a 10 meter antenna cable which will suit just about any application this is standard off the shelf uh, coaxial cable, so, so many people have shorter cables, you can get shorter cables. This is a 10 meter cable. The geodetic antennas that we offer, we offer two antennas right now. This one is great for machine control type applications and marine applications and possibly airborne applications. And this is more of a standard survey form factor. This receiver, both of these antennas track both the GLONASS, the GPS, and the SBAS satellites. Finally, we have the backpack. This backpack was really well thought out. This is the external antenna for your UHF radio. Inside the backpack, we've got straps that, that securely mount the ProFlex 500 in here without any cable crimping. You can actually leave this open. You don't need to close it. It will hold it in there that snugly. We also have a very nice set of cables so that you're not tethered to the, to the pole. These are quick disconnect LIMO connectors, coaxial LIMO connectors and they make a very nice uh, push-pull assembly. I'm left-handed. So, in a quick video tour, that is the ProFlex 500. For more information, please visit our website, promagellangps.com. Thank you.